<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, let's change things up a little bit today and have some fun. I'm sick of doing all those serious videos where I'm all serious and I'm walking you through the books and it's like kind of documenting all the stuff without any real good color commentary. So this time I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have fun with it. Let's see if it works. Um, this uh, is a different kind of unboxing video because I'm actually going to do like my first consumer reports type of video. You know, I always share the books and I and I always talk about the quality and, and I weigh it and I talk about how great it is because it's usually really great. But this time, I'm actually judging booksellers. I did it with Anderson's books when they sent me the jacked up copy of Fight Club. Bang the hell. I emailed them and I contacted them and I've got no response. So do not maybe order a book online from Anderson's in Naperville. Don't. Don't do it. So, uh, but today I, I ordered <laughs> three copies of the trade edition of Josh Mallerman's new book, Mallory, the sequel to Bird Box. And uh, I'm going, I got three different ones. I waited till I got all three of them together to share them all at once so we could judge price, shipping, speed and cost, and then... Um, condition it arrived in the packaging job so it's it's it, there's some really interesting things going on here but let's first check in with the magic duff bucket what do you got for me today magic duff bucket a glass of refreshing water i don't think there's anything better than a cold glass of water unless it's panna but i can't do a pan of water without a sun tub book just it's not right um and the reason i'm having water you might ask is it's three in the afternoon you know i gotta have some sort of guidelines to live a decent life and also last night i had two margaritas and anywhere between two and 40 glasses of wine <laughs> so it's water today i have not had that much alcohol in, in one night in a long, 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 long time. Don't recommend it. Don't try that at home. Anyway, let's get into it. So the first box is from Amazon. I bought a trade edition when the pre-orders open on, I, I took notes, on March 19th, 2019. I wanted a reading copy. I already had, at that point, ordered the Dark Regions Press Lettered Edition, so that's coming at some point. Um, but I wanted a reading copy. I knew Amazon would probably get a cheap copy. I really wouldn't sweat how it was shipped because it's a reading copy. I know. It's those sorts of luxuries are in the rear view now. But this is how it came. Who, who ships a box in this? It just seems a weird thing to ship it in. It cost $18 and free shipping. For this hardcover so um, we are going to open it up right here and and see what kind of condition my condition is in ah, okay so <laughs> yes yes this is Amazon where you have a book just a book no packing stuff um, and here it is a trade edition, you know, very nice. I actually think the cover of the advanced readers copy is far better than this cover. Not that this is a bad cover, just the other one I liked more. I just, it's just personal preference. This is art, you know, you, it's, it's subjective. So the one thing I really, you know, the artwork is cool. I like the artwork, um, but I really do not dig that right on the cover. I think people know what Mallory is. I think people get it. They understand. You want to put that, put it on the back. You know, say this is uh, the sequel to the global sensation bird box. Marketing, I work in marketing. I understand. I know why they're doing that. They're trying to sell it. This is up on the thing. You're at the airport, maybe, and you walk by and you see this thing sitting there and you're like, oh, oh, I didn't know there was a sequel to bird box because I don't really follow anything, but that caught my eye. That's a sale. I get it. I understand. 
it's just ugly. It's just ugly. It's, yeah, I don't need a commercial for the book. I, or whatever. But anyway, you know, typical, typical standard uh, trade edition. Pretty nice. Um, it looks like there are no bent corners or what have you. I don't know. It looks okay. And I'm going to read it. And this is the one I'm going to read. And I guarantee it's not going to be signed. But wouldn't that be a shock if I got three signed editions? Yeah, no, nothing. Okay. So that's that. Um, I really went a lot longer on the trade edition blathering about the cover. Um, but now you got all my thoughts on that. and You can go about your day. The dust jacket price is $28, so I saved 10 bucks buying via Amazon. I'm very, very pleased with that. So let's go on to the next one. The next one I bought, I bought this from VJ Books. Uh, I don't know how I came across it, but they said we're going to have signed first edition uh, Josh Mallerman's new book, Mallory. And so I bought it on June 15th, right? Oh, that, that Mallory from Amazon came to my house on the 21st, the day of publication. So I got that the day of published. Um, this came from VJ on the 23rd. So a couple of days later, that's fine, right? It's fine. Um, the, the, where I will ding them is that I, I bought the book with a coupon for $26 with a coupon. And they had many shipping options. I could have opted for a padded envelope, but they had this option for a box. So this is a book I'm going to be worried about how it arrives because it's the signed one. I didn't plan on getting multiple signed editions. This was it. So I went big on the shipping. I got it priority and I paid seven, no, I paid $18 to get the box option. And this is the box. Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, this is a really, and it says flat rate envelope. I opted for box, priority box. This is not a box. This is a cardboard bag. I don't know what you would call it. So I don't dig that, you know, uh, to, to think I spent that much money on shipping when this, and, and look, look, it's just, so it's annoying. So it's, it's really way overpriced for shipping. So that's it. Then, okay, yes, thank God it is in a bubble wrap uh, situation. So I'm happy about that. You know, um, I will actually need, I'll just use a stabby. Oh, oh, my daughter made that. I'm very, very careful with my daughter's sculptures. I love that. So I don't want anything to happen. So we're going to get this out. We're going to extract this book. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. There's a bit of tape. That's fine. I mean, I'd rather have it protected. Um, okay. But I gotta say, that's, you'll see how the third copy came and you'll see why $18 for this pack job is probably more than it was worth. Anyway. Let's get it out. All right. So. Ugh. So I'm very, very careful. You know, you're pulling this, and, and there's a dust jacket here. I don't want to damage anything. In a... Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here we go. I'm peeling this all off. All right. Okay. Well, one thing that's really awesome that I dig is that this book comes in, with a protective cover over the dust jacket. Excellent. That, that is big points for me. That's big, big jeffing off points for a Mylar cover. Um, the corners look tight, fine. Um, so a bookmark, which is cool. 
and then um, sign up for book steward service. So there's a little thing, little little extras, I'm trying to keep the business, you know. So here you go. Take this dust jacket off to get a better look at the book. Yeah, looks fine to me. Trade edition, first edition. Um, spine looks a little bent in there. The, which camera? This camera? Yeah, see that? Bent in. Totally. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's see what the signature looks like. So, open it up. And this book is signed by the author. <laughs> now, if you know anything about Josh Mallerman's signatures, they are very spare. He, he just does like a scribble. But that doesn't look... I don't know. It doesn't look like a normal Josh Mallerman signature. I don't know. I, I mean, I know you're like, dude, it's just a squiggle. <sighs> but I bought it from a bona fide bookseller. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say it's probably legit, but I'm no, I'm no expert. You'll look at the other one. So Mylar Dust Jacket gets props for that. Uh, signature sheet that looks like it's like tipped in. So, so that's cool. A tipped in signature sheet, right? Because it says this book is signed by the author. The trade edition didn't have that. All right, so two down, one to go. The last one. Josh Mallerman actually posted on Facebook. He said, my wrist is hurting. I'm signing all these books for books a million. So I'm like, oh, another signed first edition is going to be out there in the world. Better check that out too. So I went over to Books a Million. And on July 9th, I bought a copy for, the, for $23. So this was $3 cheaper than the VJ Books edition. <laughs> I used the coupon for this one as well. Um, four dollars shipped. Four dollars I paid to ship. Four dollars. Seventeen, eighteen dollars. Four dollars. And this came on the 25th. So I got the VJ book um, a copy two days earlier. I got this one a little bit later. Let's see how they did it. Let's see how they did on the packing. Okay. Let me take that out. So some bubble wrap. Uh, a little book page, a little catalog. And then the book itself is in more bubble wrap, <laughs> nicely contained. It's almost like a little a little padded uh, sleeve, right, of sorts. So I could just pull it out. That's nice. Um, there's a sticker on the back, but I also know there's a sticker on the front saying "signed copy." Not digging that, right? I gotta try to get that off. Um, if I could also just swap it with the dust jacket from the trade edition I bought, easy peasy, right? Um, but that sticker, if I'm gonna keep it on this, it's gotta come off. Um, the corners look nice. I mean, nice and tight. Looks just fine, no, no issues there. So the signature. I'm gonna open it up and there's the signature so you can see it looks a little different than the other one but I will say this looks a little different than the other ones I own previously I have uh, the um, Dark Regions press bird box I also have goblin you know on this day the pig black mad wheel signed so if I saw that I don't know but What's cool about this one that's different than those book, uh, the VJ books is that Josh Mallerman had this in his house. Oh, it smells like Josh. And 
Don't even ask how I know how Josh smells. Now you know too much. That's okay. I only get like 100 views. So there's only 100 of you out there that know that I know what Josh smells like. I don't really know what Josh smells like. It's kind of sad that I have to debunk a stupid joke. So this is fine. This, this came out fine. So you can see there's a trade-off. VJ Books, I, I would not have paid that money. I'm annoyed that I paid that money for that box. The book came in stellar condition, tipped in sheet. So uh, the, the dust jacket cover is real nice. This book was uh, less expensive, uh, shipped very nicely. And I know that, that Josh signed this book. He didn't sign a tipped in sheet, you know? So I got that. Um, I don't know, you're gonna make up your own mind at home. I, I guarantee you're, you're gonna be like um, getting your own first edition somewhere and um, and assigned one at that. Books A Million no longer has them. I don't know if they sold all their signed copies. I don't know how many Josh signed. I thought he said a thousand. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot of, uh, of signatures. Um, but he's a young guy, right? I don't know how old he is. I don't know. I can I only know, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Uh, how do I rank them? You know, I mean, there's, there's trade-offs. Uh, I, I probably put books a million up here. If VJ would just get with the program and the book was more expensive, the shipping was more expensive and I got a Mylar dust jacket protector out of it, the, out of that deal. So I don't know. All the, all the books came in fine shape. So whatever works for you, wherever you can find a signed copy, you know, go for it. Um, enjoy it. Enjoy reading. 17 minute video. <laughs> 17, and I thought I was talking fast. Um, you know, I'm going to do the photos thing. Anyway, have, have a good one. Um, oh, I got some book crack coming. It's like book crack. Sun Tup, a little special something for a Sun Tup book uh, from 19th edition. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm losing my mind. And then the Falling Angel set from Centipede. Very good stuff coming up. Uh, got lots to look forward to. Look forward to sharing it with you when I do get it. And, uh, you know, keep reading, people. I'll work on a tagline that I end the videos with um, when I get some time, you know. Drink water.